welcome to an, another instrument review. Um, this is my newest guitar I have. Um, I, my old guitar was not working properly and due to certain events um, I couldn't get it fixed um, and I really need a guitar. Um, so I went looking for an inexpensive but good sounding guitar and I came across this Ibanez AW54 OPN. Um, the OPN stands for Open Pour, um, and if you notice, the finish is very matte. Um, it's not glossy or anything. Um, it's very this rough wood, um, just plain wood feeling. It's like an oil finish. Um, I've heard that that's supposed to actually give me better over the long term for uh, the guitar opening up for sound. Um, I'm really looking forward to that because this guitar sounds really good as is for like $350. Um, I will go and tell you I would recommend going and set, having, bring it to your music shop and having it get set up. Um, get new strings, check the playability. For me, Ibanez sets the string height too high for the action. Um, so I need that adjusted. If that's more your style of playing, then you probably don't need that. Um, one thing to note, when it does ship, it has um, D'Addario strings on it. They're the XP, they're not the XT ones. Um, so they're decent, but not, not that great. Um, as always, just change your strings. Um, and then one thing I did notice is on the pick guard, when you see it, there's a big green sticker here um, that goes and says, which is really nice, but it goes and says, it has a solid mahogany top. On solid mahogany top is nice, the sticker not so cool. Um, however, that sticker is on the packaging um, protective foil, and so you just peel that off and the sticker comes right off. Um, that foil is only there for shipping, and so you don't need it. Um, there's even some on the back of the tutors too that you just peel off because they're just for shipping purposes. So that's nice, because I know there's some concern of um, seeing that big sticker and they're like, how do we get this off? Is it going to like scratch the guitar? Um, and yeah, literally just peel off the packaging thing and you're done with it. Um, but yeah, this guitar has laminate mahogany um, sides and back, a solid mahogany top. Now, I really like mahogany. I just like the sound. It has a really nice warm depth to it. Um, so without further ado, I'll play a little bit more here. Um, right now we're in the key of G um, without the capo on. I'll play a little bit with the capo on as well. That's more picking style. I'll go and strum it a bit. Um, some people say the strumming is a little bit muddy for their taste. I haven't really noticed that, but I'll let you decide for yourself here. Um, for me, it sounds really nice. Um, I'm really impressed with this guitar. Um, it's hard to find an uh, inexpensive guitar that sounds good. Um, Dreadnought styles are a little bit easier, but even then, especially with a solid mahogany top, um, in this price range, you're not going to find any solid top, usually, um, unless it's probably used. Um, I'll play a little bit of capo here. For me, this is a really versatile guitar. Um, I'll do a little bit of finger style. It sounds really good then as well. Um, here's a little bit with the capo on.
Um, one nice thing I do like about this guitar is the bridge. The bridge is a lot wider. Um, a lot of styles of guitar are having the more thinner, straight, more rectangular bridge. I'm not a big fan of them. Um, I've had some guitars that the the bridge disconnects a bit, and there's with the bigger one, there's more kind of space and area that holds on the guitar better. Um, I also like because it allows for muting purposes a lot easier. So doing palm muting is a lot easier on this versus the rectangular ones. Um, it takes a little bit more used to, at least for me. Um, so here's a little palm muting. I'll do a little bit of finger style because like I really think this is a really nice versatile guitar um, it sounds good whether for strumming for more of picking with flat picking or even for finger style I'll give you a little example here <laughs> So yeah, overall, this guitar, I've been a really big fan of it. Um, there's been comments about some of the tuners. Tuners aren't amazing. Um, they will easily upgrade because of the shape and style of them. Um, but I really haven't had any problem with them. They keep the tune well once the strings are, are stretched. Um, I really haven't had to adjust them very much at all. Well, they, tu they turn nice. Um, overall, this is just a really nice guitar. Um, Ibanez did a really good job. And honestly, if you're in the market looking for a Dreadnought style guitar that um, doesn't break the bank and just sounds good, I would highly recommend this. So yeah, check out the Ibanez AW54OPN. So thank you for watching.